everybody, my name is Michael DeJoya, and I am the Director of Institutional Sales here at Das Trader. And today, what I'm going to be talking about is a little known feature on the Das Trading platform. And I'm going to bring your attention to the window that I have right up here. It is the Das Options Trading window. Many people don't realize that Das is actually an excellent platform to trade not only equities, but also equity options. And I'm just going to go up here to the top of my screen where it says quotes. And then you can see there under quotes, there is the options chain. Okay, so here on the options chain, if you click there, it'll bring up this window right here. Now, if you look at this window, you say, oh my goodness, there's not a lot of data in there. And I want to show you how to fix that so that it shows all the data that you need to see so that you can trade options using the Dash Trader platform. And I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger. I'm going to keep my charts up here. And I'm just gonna right click, and I'm gonna bring up the box that says configure, but underneath there it says auto fit. And what I just did was I auto fit all of my options data for my calls onto the window. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side for my puts. I'm gonna go auto fit, and I have all my put data there as well. Now the way the Dash Trader uh, window works is that you have your strike prices in the middle, okay? And then you have your various different months in tabs up here on top. And obviously you could see that data is populating. Now, if you wanna click on a specific contract, in this case, this is a put, okay? You have all your puts on the right side, all my calls on the left side. You can see the change on the calls is popping up in green. So we have our last, our change, our bid, our ask, our volume. We can get rid of the puts. We don't wanna make a mistake. Get rid of the puts, right click, auto config, and then you got all of our, our calls. Now I could pop up my puts, right click, right click, auto config, right click, auto config, and I have all of my, my call data as well. Okay, and here is the actual level two information, okay, for my calls and my puts. Now, this is a really cool feature, and I'm just going to grab any one of these random calls, and I'm going to drag this random call. Oops. I'm just going to grab one of these. I just double clicked on it, and now what I did is I linked it to my chart, okay, and I just charted the call, okay, on my daily chart by double clicking on the actual call option itself. And then I now just linked it to my chart so that I can see what, what it looks like on a chart. Now I'm just gonna make this window slightly bigger. Okay, I'm gonna make this window slightly bigger so I can have a little bit more price history on there. And you can see that the value of my calls have been going up, up and away. Yes, we did get a little bit of a pullback here. And then here is a big bullish engulfing bar on today's activity, okay? So our call option is going up, up and away. And we just had a little pullback and, and had a nice day. But you can pretty much price out any option. So here's the value of the puts going way, way, way down just by linking the actual call. Now, many other platforms don't have the ability to do that. Now, not only that, you can see all of your various different exchanges here in the level two market montage, all your exchanges listed here. You could also have a little preview in the actual options chain window itself. Um, in the future, we are going to have um, some additional classes on how to trade options just to bring up the level of knowledge in trading options. Um, that's gonna be a future series just about options trading using the DAS platform. Now I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna to go to config. Okay, so config brings up another window and now I can choose to add additional items into the window. So right now what I have selected is symbol, last, change, bid, ask, and volume, okay? I also increased the size of the font in the actual uh, level two uh, itself. So I put it to six, I just go to six, 
I'm not going to change the fonts type. And I hit OK. I hit OK again. And that should change my font in my level two. Okay, so I have it in my level one and my level two. I'm going to go auto config, auto config, and I'm just going to click on one of these options. Okay, you can see it what now that I've linked it, it automatically populates. Okay, um, just go to this one. Okay, and now you can see you have your full depth of market information. You also have your chart, right? And I'm just going to show you how, like, I mean, pretty much everything on the Dash platform is easily customizable. Just go to configure. It's always the same system. It's configure. Okay, you got to find the font, right? You want to change the font size, change it to eight. Okay, hit okay. You want to change the label size, change it to eight. Hit okay. In this case, we hit okay. And now you can see maybe even eight's too small. We go to configure, we'll bump it up to 10 so that you can see everything clearly. Just bump it up to 10. And here we have it all bumped up to 10. But now you know that you can see your prices very clearly. You can chart options using the Dash Trader Pro platform. You have your, your calls on one side, your puts on the other, the underlying root equity price up there on top, strike prices in the middle, and you have your uh, order entry screen, which is buy to open, sell to open, sell to close, buy to open, buy to close. You have all your buttons all configured right here. Um, you can certainly, in this case, I probably am gonna wanna configure this window. So go to config because that's not showing me enough data. My level two, I'm going to bring that and bump it down to four again. And we hit OK. Right click. Remember the old right click auto fit. And it takes a lot of the work right out of this for us so that we don't have to go clicking around and we can auto configure our data. Uh, we got our chart. Okay, and um, you know, obviously in this series, we've gone over lots of other things related to the DAS uh, trading platform. Um, the other thing that we could do is we can click right here. We can go to change the, the style of the order entry screen. This one is a, an options window order entry screen. We have trading settings. We could go through all of these different trading settings. We have, can colorize our buy buttons and, and, and colorize and customize all of the different elements of our OES. We can enable order send confirmations, check for duplicate and new orders. We could do a price check on percentage. We can clear the price after an execution or reject orders if the box is empty. Reset the default order out after execution, enable tool tips, Force all, uh, no RRs, post only. I mean, you got so many different options in here. Enable, fast, stop, limit, order um, with an aggressive value. So there's really great functionality. The uh, number of shares do not uh, decline with execution. Except all of these custom elements, add gradient effects, you name it, you can do it um, here with the, uh, the order entry screen. I'm going to hit cancel because I like it just the way it is. Right click, I'm going to create an order template that way I don't have to go through all these di different uh, elements each and every time. How many, what was going to be my default size, what's going to be my default route? You can see all the different routes in there. We got CBOL, CBO limit, CBO market, uh, CBO stop, ISML. I mean, there's, there's just lots of different routes that you have uh, depending on what broker you use. Okay, and then you can use the global default settings. I'm just going to X out of here because I haven't pretty much set the way I want. Uh, and I'm going to go finally route configure. Uh, here we have a couple of routes that are set up, but if you're new to the broker and you want to add some new routes, this is where you do it. You uh, you put the exchange name in and you fill out this information and that would allow you to add some additional routes uh, if your broker adds some routes for you. Uh, but you pretty much have full functionality trading options as well as stops using the DAS Trader Pro platform. So thank you so much. 
Stay tuned for our future um, classes on trading options with Gas Trader. Um, this is something that I'm going to be working on as we add additional functionality. We'll be doing updated videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you um, have any questions, you can certainly put those questions in the comment section or send me an email at, at uh, mike at dashtrader.com. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.